The Snowy Nap by Jan Brett. The Snowy Nap by Jan Brett. Young Hedgy sniffed the chilly wind. Snow is on the way, he thought. I'll just take a last ramble around the farm. He did not want to miss a moment. He could barely keep his eyes open as he walked. The hens noticed at once. Time for Betty Bye, they cackled. It won't be long before you have to hibernate and our coop will be bedazzled by icicles. In the sleepy days, Hedgie trudled past pond. The geese honked, honk, goodbye, until spring. We'll think of you as we play slip and slide across the pond ice. It's already starting to freeze. Hedgie came to the sheep shed. Nighty night, the sheep bad. One of the sheep had seen hedgehogs on the farm head for their cozy dens year after year. She also was ready to tell Hedgie what she would miss. I'll soon see the snowman Lisa makes, he said. The billy goat overheard and crunched across the fo- frozen field to add, crunch, crunch. As usual, you'll miss winter blue time when the sun sets and the snowy farm appears in every shade of blue. The pigs watched Hedgie stop for a big yawn. Have a good winter sleep, she oinked. If only I could save a few snowflakes for you. No two are alike. When the pony trotted up, Hedgie guessed what he would say. Sleep well, he neighed. If you hear bells in your dream, it will be me pulling my sled. And that was the last straw. I don't want to sleep all winter like last year, protested Hedgie. I want to see icicles and snowmen and snowflakes and pond ice. I want to hear the sleigh bells ring. Before Hedgie could yawn again, he decided to turn around and stay up for the winter. The night grew frosty and cold. Must stay awake, must stay awake, must stay awake to see winter. Hedgie shivered and his eyes closed. From the farmhouse window, Lisa saw a still shape outside in the cold. Poor little Hedgie is frozen stiff, she cried. She bundled him up and brought him inside. Lisa put Hedgie in a tea cozy and gave him a spot by the window. Phew, that was a close call, she said. A snowstorm is on the way. You better stay in the house, warm up. To Hedgie's delight, the next morning, he saw the world outside shimmering with snow. The old chicken coop sparkled like a palace. And every day he watched from different windows and new wintry scenes appeared. The pond froze into a shiny mirror. Lisa twirled on her skates as the goose and the gander slid to keep up. And to Hedgie's amazement, One day, Lisa started rolling great big balls of snow. And before he knew it, he was looking at his first snowman. He was getting sleepier, but each morning held a new surprise. He did not want to go to sleep for the winter. The little hedgehog was dozing when he heard the tinkling of bells. He tried with all his might to open his eyes. And what did he see? There was Pony pulling the sleigh. Jing, 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 jing. Lisa made a snowball and tossed it in his direction. Kapoof! Hedgie slept later every day. One day he awoke to see flowers of frost decorating his window. The trees looked like lace against the sky. I have truly seen winter, Hedgie's last thought was, as he nodded back to sleep. And Lisa knew it was time. Leaving the door ajar, leaving it open, she cradled the little hedgehog. You belong in the wild, she whispered in his ear as she carried him through the drifts. She crouched by his burrow and nestled him inside. Sweet dreams, little adventurer, she said. Just then, she noticed the front door was swinging on his hinges. Squawks and rumbles were coming from inside the house. 
they disappeared through the doorway and saw animals, higgly piggly, making a commotion in her house. Each one was thinking, I'll see winter from a nice warm house, just like Hedgy. Out, 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 skedaddle, she laughed. Don't you know this is not where you live? Lisa was shooing the last mouse from her house as Hedgie, snug in his burrow, fell into a deep sleep. He was dreaming about icicles and snowmen, snowflakes and pond ice, and it was a long, snowy nap. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story. Goodbye. <laughs>